Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameJube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's current concept series. So in today's video, the character looking into is Stanley the Stork. So we're going to this character's gameplay mechanics, backstory, location, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that this isn't necessarily linked to the overall universe and lore of FNAF. This is just a fun what if scenario and a creepy story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, do be sure to subscribe to GameJube as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty everyone, well let's get into the character concept of Stanley the Stork. So in our previous videos, we've been introduced to the Swamp Shack Pizzeria. And needless to say, things had been quite strange at this humble children's party restaurant. Night after night, the whole cast of animatronic characters have been attacking the night guard. The characters we've met so far have been Greg the Gator, Sadie the Snake, Oscar the Otter, and Fergus the Frog. In the earlier events of the Swamp Shack Pizzeria, things weren't too out of order. It wasn't foreign for the characters to act up and harass the night guard here and there. But in recent nights, one of the characters has morphed into something the night guard has never encountered before. This was different. The character was nothing less than pure evil. The night guard could only hope to never encounter another nightmarish creature again, but they would have to wait and see. Speaking of characters, let's meet our next Swamp Shack friend. So the character we're introducing is Stanley the Stork. Stanley was designed after the long-necked bird, the Stork. Just like Sadie the Snake, they were given a long and extendable neck. He was also one of the rare characters that was given clothing and a theme. His character was based on a postal worker that would deliver packages to all the creatures in the swamp. And this now brings us to Stanley's role at the pizzeria. So his role was that of the gift giver. So at the Swamp Shack Pizzeria, it was tradition that the birthday guest would get a special present included with their birthday party package. These presents were typically a Fazbear character plushie, and these presents were handed out by none other than Stanley himself. He would go around from table to table delivering all the presents. The children were delighted to see Stanley approaching their table because they knew they were getting a birthday present. But sometimes this could cause problems with other children causing temper tantrums because it wasn't their birthday and they didn't receive a gift. But for the most part, this didn't prove to be a problem, especially because Stanley would make up for it with candy for the crying children. So Stanley was considered to be quite the successful character at the Swamp Shack Pizzeria. They always did their job and they made all the children laugh and smile. But eventually, like all the other characters, this would soon take a turn for the worst. So on this unfortunate day, it was like any other ordinary day. The members of the Bayou Boogie Band were up on stage playing their songs. Fergus the Frog was blowing up balloons. And Stanley was gathering up all the presents for the day. He had a big day ahead of him with several parties operating on the same day. He gathered all the presents and stored them in his trusty postal bag. Stanley spent most of the day going from table to table handing out the gifts. All was well until he reached the last table. He gave out the last gift, but another member of the birthday party didn't like this at all. They got upset and threw a tantrum. Unfortunately for Stanley, they didn't have any of the complimentary candy left over in his bag. The spoiled child grabbed onto Stanley's empty bag and ripped it off the straps. The parents took the child away and apologised to the staff. Stanley didn't think anything of it. Sure, he was upset that his favourite bag has been broken, but he understood that children were just children and they didn't mean anything by it. But the next couple of days would prove to be even harder for poor Stanley. Without his trusty mailbag, he would have to carry the presents out a couple at a time. This proved to be way harder than he expected, as he would have to make multiple trips to the storeroom throughout the day. As the week came to an end, Stanley began to miss his trusty mailbag. He would give anything to have it back. The workers said they would repair it soon, but who knows when that will be. So that night, Stanley roamed around the pizzeria in a somber mood. He eventually found himself in the repair room where he saw something he couldn't believe. Laying there in front of him was a brand new mailbag. They must have fixed it for him after all. As he approached it, something else approached him. Oscar grabbed Stanley and pulled him into the shadows. What happened next, no one knows. 
All that's known is that Stanley looked quite different after Oscar was through with him. This nightmarish version of Stanley was filled with rage and hate. They wanted to hurt anyone and everyone they could. And the only person who was here after hours was of course the night guard. So Stanley made his way over to the security office. He was keen to try out his new pointy teeth and razor sharp claws. Just as he made it down towards the security office, the clock struck six. Right in front of the night guard, Stanley changed back into his original self. Once again, no one would believe the monstrosity that the night guard saw right in front of them. Stanley went about his business and headed back upstairs. He had no idea how he ended up in the security office. But this was only the first night. Tomorrow night they would accomplish their evil deeds. But before they made another attempt to harm the night guard, let's first hear a word from our sponsor. Birthday Bonanza! Here at the Swamp Shack, every birthday guest gets their very own special gift. Come on down and find out for yourself! So as the clock hit midnight, Stanley transformed back into his monstrous self once again. This time they'll get the night guard if it's the last thing they do. So now let's get into the gameplay segment of the video. As always, the gameplay loop is based on the classic FNAF formula of observation and management. So Stanley's starting position would be in the main party area. When the night starts, he would be on the move. So Stanley would approach the door from both the left and right hand side. As soon as a player sees them, they would need to close the door immediately. But attempting to enter the doorway wouldn't be his only trick. Stanley can leave two different types of presence at the door. The player needs to be quick in shutting the door or they'll be affected by the presence ability. The first one would simply have an EMP effect and temporarily shut down the electronics in the office. The player would need to reboot everything before they continue but it's the second present that the player would have to really look out for. With this present, Stanley in his nightmare state now has the ability to infect the plush toys that he gives to the children. If the player doesn't close the door on this present fast enough, they'll be jump scared by the evil toy inside. This jump scare wouldn't end the game, but it would temporarily stun the player, leaving them open to a real jump scare from any of the other characters. So with all of Stanley's tricks, they need to be on their guard at all times. If the player gets overwhelmed and slips up, then they'll be greeted with a classic FNAF jump scare. So I think Stanley the Stork would be a great addition to the Swamp Shack Pizzeria roster of characters. Their nightmarish new look is definitely frightening. And all the tricks they play will definitely keep the player on their toes, that's for sure. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of Stanley the Stork, and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well, to the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.